Hey there, my name is Alex, I am the Silvermont, and in this video we're going to cover the weapons of Red Dead Online, specifically the firearms. We'll approach this more from a PvE angle, as your choice of firearm isn't as important in PvP as would be your ability loadout, and your willingness to use special ammo types and consumables. So whether you're looking for a repeater to use on horseback whilst dealing with bounties, or a shotgun to hunker down with in call to arms, I got you covered. And this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet, who sent me one, and I can't lie, it's my new wallet. It's replaced the old one almost immediately. Unlike in the Old West, there's no need to haul around gold bullion. You don't need a giant wallet these days, and just look how small this one is. I don't know if I'm alone in the problem of struggling to fit keys, phone, and wallet in my pockets when I go out, but the Ridge Wallet is a fraction bigger than a credit card, and can hold up to 12 cards. And you can get them with a money clip, too. I like how small and neat it is, and the build quality seems nice too. I chose Carbon Fiber, famous for being extremely scratch resistant, light, and nigh unbreakable. But there is a huge selection of colours and styles on the website. Burnt titanium was definitely my second choice, but there's aluminium, and even gold plated. Better yet, they come with a lifetime warranty and RFID blocking technology to protect your cards from digital pickpockets. You can give the wallet a test drive for 45 days too. So check out the link in the description and use code SILVERMONT to get 10% off. And now, on with the show. Now let's kick this video off with the disclaimer that every gun has its place in the Old West. You don't need to concern yourself with what is best, rather it's more about the feel of the gun, as each has its distinct flavour. Find one that suits your playstyle, and remember that you can carry two sidearms and two long arms at any one time. All revolvers and pistols are sidearms, as is the sword-off shotgun, whereas full barrel shotguns Repeaters and rifles are long arms. Let's get to it though. First up, revolvers. These are your low to medium range weapons, typically holding up to six shots. Applicable in a wide range of scenarios, they'll no doubt be your bread and butter when exploring. Whilst they are on the lower side of damage and range, they reload quickly and you can fan the hammer on most of them to rapidly gun down opponents. If you are close to an enemy, you can hit fire to lock on and unload as well. The Colt Single Action Army Cattleman Revolver is your starting weapon, and don't be fooled, it is highly effective. Don't feel like you need to replace it just because you started with it. That said, it's not my favourite, as I find the accuracy on it a little loose, personally. And it's worth pointing out, the more you use a weapon in Red Dead Online, you will build a hidden familiarity stat with it that improves your handling and reload speed. Get around 300 enemy kills to max it out per weapon. The stat will not deteriorate. So whether it's your single action army or your Schofield, feel free to try them out. The stat is also tied to the weapon name, not the specific weapon. So even if you buy a second Schofield, the stat will carry over. Speaking of the Schofield, it's a little more accurate and a fraction more powerful at the cost of reload and fire rate. We also have the double action revolver. Now, so far in Red Dead Online, every other revolver is single action, which means you need to cock the gun after every shot. That is what the action refers to. Whereas the double action offers you that state of the art, smooth, self cocking action. This comes at the cost of damage and accuracy, but the fire rate and reload speeds are incredible. If you ask me, there's no better revolver to use from horseback at close range. A pair of double actions makes for great dual wielding too. Then we have the Lamat, unique in that it has 9 shots instead of 6, along with the ability to swap to its second barrel which fires a shotgun blast. Along with its remarkable appearance and solid stats, that's enough to earn it a place in any gunslinger's arsenal. It's my preferred offhand. Finally we have the Colt Navy. It packs the most power of any revolver, along with high accuracy and fire rate. It's also got quite the long barrel for you fans of big irons. However, the reload speed is much slower than the other revolvers. My preferred loadout is usually a navy as my primary sidearm, and then a lamat as my offhand. If there's more than six enemies, 
because one shot is all you need, then it's time to holster it and bring out the Lamat to finish the job. It's worth pointing out that if you holster a weapon, it will automatically reload after a period of time. And I prefer to use split point ammo in my navy and standard in my Lamat. Then we have pistols. Whilst they generally bring a little less damage and range to the table than revolvers, they have a higher rate of fire and reload speed. Also remember that one headshot will kill any unarmoured human enemy in the game for the most part. It's also worth pointing out that pistols use different ammo to revolvers of course, so that can be an argument for bringing one pistol and one revolver. Whilst there's only three pistols in Red Dead Online at time of writing, you will be able to acquire the M1899 in story mode. It's possible that it will come to online at some point. The volcanic pistol is similar to a revolver, comparable in almost every way and stat. And no, it doesn't shoot out lava. That's the brand name. It's a lever action pistol and quite unlike the other two. The Mauser is among the most expensive weapons in Red Dead Online. But that's the price you pay for cutting edge, turn of the century technology. Whilst the damage is on the lower side, this German semi-automatic pistol has incredible fire rate and accuracy and reloads those 10 shots in the blink of an eye. The semi-automatic pistol is comparable in many ways. The damage and reload are fractionally lower and it only holds eight shots but has slightly higher rate of fire and accuracy. Now personally, I'm not a fan of the pistols for purely aesthetic reasons. If I'm playing a cowboy game, I'm gonna go with a revolver. But either of the semi-automatic pistols paired together and dual wielded is an extremely popular combination amongst many players. If you want to drown your enemies in a lead storm, you can't go wrong here. Repeaters. They are roughly equivalent to revolvers when it comes to damage, perhaps a smidge higher. They also have greater range and accuracy, making them the medium range weapon of choice. Whilst, of course, you will find some variance between the fire rate from the slow Litchfield to the faster Evans, they are typically a little bit slower than revolvers, making them, to generalize, a longer range option with more power for when you have time to line up your shots. The starting carbine, despite its basic appearance, is a very solid repeater. It is cheap, reliable, and has good stats. Unlike the Cattleman, I don't really see the appeal in the Carbine, however, as all of the other repeaters are more exciting. The Evans, for example, sacrifices a little bit of damage for fire rate, and I would say it's the most popular repeater, perhaps due to its huge capacity of 26 shots. It also has perhaps the most satisfying sound of all repeaters. I mean, just listen to that. The Lancaster, meanwhile, is very similar to the Carbine, as you can see from the stats. They are almost identical. The Litchfield, meanwhile, is my favourite repeater. Despite having lower accuracy and reload speed and capacity, trading them all off for a hair's more damage, I picked this weapon purely on the aesthetic value of that long metal barrel and ornate lever. There isn't much between the different repeaters in my opinion, just like the other weapons, but in particular here I feel you should base your decision on which appeals to you the most. But now we're getting into the true long range, with rifles. They absolutely have the longest range and some of the highest damage as well. And in the rifle class, we have the Springfield and Bolt Action, and then the Carcano and the Rolling Block, which are true sniper rifles, coming with scopes and, generally speaking, only able to be shot while scoped. Red Dead Online is a large game, and it can't be understated how much of an advantage you'll have if you set yourself up on a hill or a cliff from half a mile away and take out, say, a roadblock of enemies, whilst their own weapons are practically useless. Or perhaps you're doing one of those ruthless opportunities and struggling with the laser-accurate enemies. Well, if you get yourself a rifle and get some distance between you, they won't pose half the threat. Now granted, even if you ambush enemies from hundreds of feet away, they will instantly pinpoint your location. They probably won't be able to hit you unless they have rifles as well, but they'll know where you are somehow. 
Many rifles are locked to slightly higher levels, but they're always worth having. Unlike repeaters, there is quite a lot between the different rifles too. First up, the Varmint rifle is largely used for hunting. It can be loaded with special sedative ammo types for the naturalist role, but for the most part, it isn't something you're going to want to use against enemies that shoot back. Then there's the Elephant Rifle, which is a gun I wouldn't suggest buying unless you have a surplus of money and you want to mess around. Whilst it's an extremely powerful rifle, the stats are lacking in just about every way. It's honestly rather useless. Which leaves us with the Springfield and Bolt Action for the standard rifles. Whilst the Springfield has a little more damage than the Bolt Action, it's inferior when it comes to the other stats, and personally I feel like the Bolt Action is just better than the Springfield in almost every way. I use my Springfield exclusively for hunting, and that's just because I like to have a different tool for a different job. The Bolt Action feels so much better to use, in fact it's the most satisfying weapon to use for me. Great for any part of the game. I would say the bolt action is an MVP weapon, and you should absolutely get one. But if we're talking about the sniper rifles, the rolling block enjoys a little more damage, whilst the Carcano has a higher rate of fire. Both are great, so it will of course come down to your preference. Both are extremely good. Just look at all the metal on that rolling block. That's a whole lot of silver you can be slinging around. Finally, we have shotguns. The close range kings. Don't be fooled though, unlike some other games, shotguns aren't useless in Red Dead once you leave slapping range. They are capable of one hit kills from a good distance. Their stopping power is incredible, you will often knock an enemy down with just grazing them, but they are often lacking in range and sometimes fire rate. Either way, you'll never see me going without my trusty double barrel. But when it comes to the individual shotguns, there's not much of a consensus as to which is the best. Which perhaps is a good way of saying they are all great. Perhaps the repeating shotgun takes the crown when it comes to player versus player, but even when it comes down to the stats, there isn't too much between them. My favourites are of course the pump action and the double barrel. Whilst you only get two shots with the double barrel, it reloads astonishingly quickly and nothing is going to survive even one of those shots. So you just need to decide on one thing, how many enemies do you want to take down before you need to reload? Capacity being the most important aspect when picking between a shotgun in my opinion. The double barrel and the sword off hold two shots. The pump action and the semi-auto hold five, whereas the repeating shotgun holds six. Oh, and that rare shotgun? That's just a double barrel with a unique appearance. Each shotgun's reload speed is commensurate with its capacity, Worth pointing out, you can swap the standard sort of buckshot spread of the shotgun for slugs, which are more accurate, yet less lethal and lack the spread. The higher capacity of the repeating shotgun really shines when rocking slugs, which perhaps afford you more freedom, but in my eyes, a shotgun is used for turning outlaws into red mist. If you need range, well that's why you have revolvers, pistols, repeaters, and so on. Still, it's entirely up to you at the end of the day. And that about does it. Every weapon is good in its own way. I hope this video helped give you an idea of how each weapon looks and performs. Although the real test is trying them for yourself. And remember that customising your weapon's appearance offers you no tactical advantage whatsoever in combat. But it sure does make him look pretty. And thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. Check out the link in the description and get your own fancy little wallet. And remember code SILVERMONT for 10% off. Until next time, you guys take care, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you soon.